Hey everyone, today we're going to be making an engine with sound. Now when you blow air over this test tube at just the right speed, you can get it to make a whistle sound. This is happening because the air goes into the tube with some momentum and causes the tube pressure to rise past atmospheric pressure until it stops rising and then pushes it back out of the tube. Then this repeats again. And if you can get these pressure waves of air moving in and out at the resonant frequency of the tube, then this repeating pressure wave gets amplified. You can get resonance when the length of the tube is a quarter of the wavelength of the sound wave you're producing. But you can also get resonance when it's some multiple of that as well. It just sounds higher pitched, like this. So in this case, we made sound by causing the air to squish together and then spread apart by forcing air into the tube. But there's another cooler way to do this. Remember when you heat up a gas, it expands, and then when you cool it, it contracts. So if you could just heat and then cool a gas at the right frequency, then you can make sound from heat. I have a same size test tube here that I've stuck some steel wool in, and then I put some wet paper towel near the steel wool on the outside. Now watch what happens when I heat this end up. There it goes. <laughs> Makes an extremely loud sound. Holy cow, it's deafening. So once you've gotten this side hot enough, you can even move the flame out of the way, turn it any direction and it still goes. So this end is cool to the touch while this side is hundreds of degrees. This is 88 decibels, it's so loud. So right where the steel wool is, there's a sharp decrease in temperature. The steel wool makes it so that there's a good contact with the gas through the entire cross section of the tube and not just near the edges. So why does this make a sound? Well, when we heat one side of the tube, it expands the gas. But then as that hot gas moves toward the cooler end of the tube, it contracts and moves back towards the hot end of the tube. Then it heats up again and the whole process starts over. So you get pressure waves moving at regular intervals in the tube. If you can put this temperature gradient at just the right spot, then it resonates at the most unstable acoustic mode for this specific tube. So we can make sound just by heating a tube. But how do you turn this into an engine? Well, you just need to connect a piston to the end of the tube. In this setup, the mass of the piston changes where you need to place the steel wool, or the stack as it's called. But if you get it at the right spot, now instead of making sound, it vibrates this piston, which then turns this wheel, and then you can use it to power whatever you want. Now this middle metal part is going to provide the heat sink for it. And then on the end here is my piston. So you can see the piston can slide in and out here. But watch what happens when I heat this end of it now. Okay, let's try it. Here we go. Give it a little kick start. Whoa. It just keeps going. So this is a thermoacoustic engine. Whoa, it is going so fast. It was first discovered by Lord Rayleigh, who predicted that you could make self-induced oscillations with the appropriate phasing of heat transfer and pressure systems. But do you want to know what the coolest thing about Lord Rayleigh is? It's that he had the title of Lord. Wouldn't it be cool if instead of Dr. James Orgel, I was Lord James Orgel? Well, from here on out, I'll officially be called Lord James Orgill, or you can even call me Lord Action Lab. It's now official thanks to our sponsor, Established Titles. Established Titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It's a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. Their title pack gives you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest. Your certificate features a unique plot number where you can see the exact location of your land. 
They plant a tree with every order and work with global charities One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts. With this certificate, you could officially change your name to Lord or Lady and even put it on your credit card or plane tickets. It makes an amazing last minute gift. Established Titles is actually running a massive sale right now. Plus, if you use the code The Action Lab, you get an additional 10% off. So go to establishedtitles.com slash the action lab to get your gifts now and help support the channel. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot in Scotland within a few minutes of walking distance. And thanks again for watching another episode of the action lab. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something and check out the where we sell action lab gear and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.